Let's jump into it while I tell you about this bike. This is a Raleigh Sportif, probably made in the late 80s or early 90s. I can tell by the price stickers on the bike, it probably spent the last part of its life in a second-hand store before I bought it for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. I've never converted an old-school 10-speed bicycle to a single speed before, and this looks to be the perfect candidate for it with its horizontal dropouts. So the plan is to remove the 5-speed freewheel and replace it with a single-speed freewheel from my parts bin. Replace the old dry-rotted tires with new. Install a single-speed crankset also from my parts bin, along with a new single speed chain. I'll remove the derailleurs and the friction shifters. Finally, I'll replace the foam grips with new bar tape and replace the cables and housings. Sit back, relax, grab your favorite beverage, and watch as I convert this classic 10 speed into a single speed bike. During disassembly, I had a few surprises and ran into some difficulties. First off, the free wheel would not budge from the wheel no matter what I tried. So I made an executive decision and stole the wheels from my freshly built Panasonic. Those wheels had good tires and I know I could easily remove the free wheel. I have some big plans for the Panasonic in a future video, so I knew I wouldn't miss them. Secondly, it appeared that someone had worked in the bike in the past and the crank arm bolts were just finger tight and easily removed. Normally, it takes a bit of force to get them to move. And the stem bolt was very, very loose as well. Turning it one turn actually disconnected it from the wedge that holds it in place. I couldn't remove the wedge until I took the fork off and shook it upside down. Lastly, I found this curious sticker on the bottom bracket indicating sealed bearings. These are not sealed bearings. The rest of disassembly continued without incident.
The frame cleaned up nicely and has just the right amount of patina. I was a bit worried about the chain line, but in the end, I believe it's close enough that it won't make that much of a difference and the bike rides nicely. I installed a nice, easy and relaxed gear ratio and the horizontal dropouts made tensioning the chain a breeze. If you made it this far, you're a true champion. If you found this video entertaining or informative, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for more bicycle restoration content.